Hello everyone, teacher Jonas here, and today we're going to review what we learned about multiplication and division. All right, let's get to it. We remember, we don't have to answer this question, we remember how to do three digit times one digit multiplication. It's quite easy. By the way, repeat after me. We're going to repeat this word together. Multiplication. Multiplication. Very good. We're going to learn multiplication of 758 times 4. So how do we do it? We can do it in our head or we can do it in the column form. Column form is very easy. So. Let's start. We always start from the first digit, which is in the ones. So we multiply four times eight. Four times eight is 32. Now, we have a two digit number, right? So we put two here and we put the three up here. We carry it to the next one. We regroup it in another way. So. 2 is in the 1's place, we put it here, and we carried 3 over to the 10's column. Very simple. Now, 4 times 5. 4 times 5, hmm, what is the answer going to be? Whatever the answer is, remember, we have to add 3 to the answer. 4 times 5 is 20. We're not finished. 20 plus 3 equals 23. Can we write 23 here? No. We can write the 3 here, yes. But the 2, we have to carry it to the next digit, which is the hundreds. By the way, I recommend you to cross this one so you don't use it again. <laughs> All right. So next one is very easy. 4 times 7, whatever the answer, plus 2. So 4 times 7 is 28. Are we finished? No. 28 plus 2 is 30. Now, we write 30 here. Yes, we don't have any more digits, so we are finished. So the answer to 758 times 4 is equal to 3032. 3032. Don't forget the comma to make it beautiful. All right, let's do uh -oh, a four digit times one digit. So we have 4851. Let me put a comma here to make it beautiful. So 4,851 times 8. It's hard to do it in your head. So let's use the color form. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, we start from the ones. 6 times 1 equals 6. Super easy. 6 times 5 equals 30. We put 0 here. We carry the 3 to the next digit, which is in the hundreds here. So, now next is 6 times 8, which is 48. Oh, no, stop. Don't write it yet. 48, we have a 3 here. 48 plus 3 is 51. So we write 1 here. We carry the 5, which is the 50, to the next, uh, oh, to the thousands. So now we do. So now we have to do six times four. Six times four is twenty-four. But don't forget, we have a five here. So twenty-four plus five equals twenty-nine. <laughs> so we got the answer: twenty-nine thousand one hundred six. So we have the answer. Ooh, comma again. I forgot. 
4,851. Repeat after me. 4,851 times 8 equals 29,106. 29,106. Pretty easy. So now, let's do a random one. Let's say I like the number 5,209 <laughs> times, uh, let's say, 5. No, let's make it harder. Let's make it 7. Okay, so let's do it. What do we do first? We start from the once. 7 times 9. What is 7 times 9? It's 63. So we write 3 here. We carry the 6 to the next digit. 7 times 0. 0. 0 plus 6. 6. Haha. <laughs> 7 times 2. 14. Uh oh. So we write 4 here, and we carry the 1 to the next digit. 7 times 5 is 35. 35 plus 1, 36. So we have the answer. 5,209 times 7 equals 36,463. Hmm, quite easy. Great job to you guys. So, now that we are done with multiplication, let's do division and remainder. So let's start. As you remember, this is a division. This is called a dividend, which is the bigger number, divided by a number, which is the divisor. And the answer is quotient. Now, we cannot do all division like this. Sometimes we have to do long division like this one. This is called long division. So we write the dividend in here. On the left, we write the divisor and we have to find the quotient and we write it on the top. So let's look at this one. We must do long division because it's a little hard to do in my head. So let's do it. 249 divided by 3, we write it like this. 249 divided by 3. This is called long division form. So we look at the first digit, 2. How many 3's fit into 2? No, we cannot fit 3 in 2, right? <laughs> so we have to write zero up here because we cannot fit any threes in two so now we look at the next digit together two and four which is 24 now how many threes fit into 24 which is 24 divided by 3 equals 8 so eight threes fit into 24 now we multiply 8 times 3 which equals to 24, and then we subtract, and we get 0. <laughs> nice. Now, we bring the next digit down. Now, we ask ourselves, how many 3's fit into 9? Easy. 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Now, we subtract, and hey, we got 0. So, this is our quotient. 83 is our quotient. Good job. Like this GIF. Good job. <laughs> All right. Now, let's look at another one. Ooh. 726 divided by 4. Let's find out. To do this one, let's do long division again. So, we ask ourselves, how many 4s fit into 7? Only one, right? We can fit only one four in seven. So one. One times four equals four. 
Now we have to subtract. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Pretty easy. So, what do we do? We bring the next digit down here. 32. Now, how many 4s fit into 32? Easy answer. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So we write 8 up here. 8 times 4 equals 32. We subtract. We got 0. Nice. Now we bring the next digit down. How many 4s fit into 6? Mm, only 1. Right? So, 1 times 4 equals 4. 6 minus 4 equals 2. So, next, oh, look, we don't have any more digits. So that means we are finished. This is our quotient, and this is our remainder. Remainder. So, the final answer to 726 divided by 4 equals 181 with remainder of 2. Because this is our remainder. Great job. Now let's look at this one. 8,356 divided by 4 equals, let's do long division like this. So how many 4s fit into 8? 2. 2 times 4, 8. 8 minus 8, 0. Now we bring the next digit down. 3, come over here. Now how many 4s fit into 3? Um, Zero. We cannot fit any four into three. So we write three zero. Next, we bring the next data down. Now it's 35. How many fours fit into 35? Hmm. I think I know the answer. It is eight. Eight times four is 32. We subtract. 35 minus 32 is three. Now what do we do? We bring the next digit down, which is 6. 36. How many 4s fit into 36? Uh, 9. Pretty easy. So, 9 times 4 is 36. The answer is 0. So, we have no remainder because it's 0 here. So, the quotient or the answer is 2089. Easy. So let's read it together. 8,356 divided by 4 equals 2,089. Let's do another one. 9,672, repeat after me. 9,672 divided by 5 equals I don't know. I write it in long division. Let's do it together. How many fives fit into nine? One. One times five equals five. Ha <laughs> ha. Subtract. We get what? Nine minus five is four. What do we do? We bring the next digit down. Six. Get over here. Now, we ask ourselves how many five fits into 46. It's very easy. 9. Ha. 9 times 5 is 45. We subtract again. What do we get? 1. And this one is 0. What do we do? We bring the next digit down. 7. So we ask ourselves, how many 5s fit into 17? Easy. 3, right? 15. Because it's not 18. So it's 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Now we subtract. 17 minus 15 is 2. So what do we do? We bring the next digit down, which is 2. How many fives fit into 22? 
easy. Only four. Four times five is twenty. What do we do? We subtract. Twenty-two minus twenty equals two. So this two is our remainder and we can make it beautiful. One thousand nine hundred thirty-four is our quotient. So we put it together. Nine thousand six hundred seventy-two divided by five equals hmm. now it's beautiful. One thousand nine hundred thirty-four with remainder of two. Great job. You're so smart. And that is why I am so proud of you guys. You guys are so smart. And I hope to see you guys soon. Take care of yourself. And as always, teacher Jonas out. Bye bye everyone. See you.